You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Somebody me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace: Kaken's Path. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining you. Let's just jump right back in, shall we? All right, please sit back and enjoy. Alarm changer up, and let's go. <coughs> All right. And if my voice still sounds weird, it's because I'm still sick. Anyway. <coughs> Who are you? Aren't you just a second year? She's the son of the Rushi Hera Corporation. Ah. As they start to whisper to themselves, it, start, it quickly creates a buzz around the group of girls, and they seem to quickly disperse. Kaken breathes out in relief as he turns to the fox. Yeah, my French is not so great. <laughs> the fox's eyes widen in surprise as he hears Kesuk speak in what I assume is French. Vous parlez Francois? Kasich smiles, offering a handshake. Oui, monsieur. The fox smiles widely, grabbing hold of Kaken's hand and shaking it with gusto. Uh, Kaken, since when do you speak French? Hmm? Oh, I can understand a few languages. Japanese, English, French, Portuguese, Indonesian, Italian. I'm pretty basic with most of them, though. English and French are the only ones I can actually speak. Huh, that's... Huh. Wow, yeah, at least someone can talk to him. Uh, that won't be necessary. Victor can actually speak Japanese. Wait, he can? Um, yes, I can speak Japanese, somewhat. Wow, your pronunciation is pretty good. I can't say it's impeccable, but it's very close. But thank you. But let me introduce myself properly. My name is Victor Chevalier. 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 Victor Chevalier. It's a pleasure to meet you. V v v oh no, it's hard to. It's too hard to say it. Um, sorry. Don't worry about it. That's just how Kobayashi is. Just answer me this, though. If you can speak Japanese, then why didn't you when why didn't you when they were hounding you? The girls didn't understand a word of what you said. What did he say anyway? Something something along the lines of back off already, would you? No, no, that's not quite right. If it was it was more please just let me breathe, to be honest. Yeah, but you sound like a wimp with that line. Gah! <laughs> the guy hadn't been he hasn't been here for five minutes and Kasik was already making teasing jokes at his expense. Uh, Kaken, at least let him get acclimated with us before you start cracking jokes about him. Oh, sorry. He, ste he steps away, looking awkwardly at Victor. The fox, on the other hand, looks at us in curiosity. Um, so you're my new classmates, right? Oh, yeah, my name is Yuichi Michimaya. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Jun Kabayashi. Nice to meet you, Vic. 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 Vicken? Vicken? But. Oh, hey, I like the sound of that. Vicken. It's catchy. I'll go with that, too. Nice to meet you, Vicken. I'm Kasuk from Class 2A. Um... I'm Shibuchi Arata from Class 3A. I'm not your classmate, but I do come here a lot. But I do uh, come over here a lot, so you'll probably see me often. He's also the president of the student council, so don't hesitate to go with him if you have some sort of problem. We really haven't seen much of him, even, even in Shuichi's playthrough. I wonder if it's different if you go with Kasuk. Oh, that's cool. I I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Me next, me next! I'm Sai- I'm Sai Mizuguchi from Class 3A! Bon voyage! B bon voyage? Yeah, that's nice to meet you in French, right? I- I- Kaken bursts out in laughter. What? 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 What did I say? Something wrong? Um, bon voyage is French for have a safe trip. B what? <laughs> Guys, I can't laugh. Oh god, I'm hurting all over. He hasn't had time to arrive properly yet, and you're already showing him out the door and telling him to leave. But that's not what I meant. Stop laughing, Kaken. Kaken. I said stop laughing, damn it. In a single second, she grabs hold of him in a neck choke. Ow, 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 ow. All right, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please let me go. I can't breathe. Are these two always like this? Oh, yeah. You've seen nothing yet. That's scary, to be honest. You're going to have to get used to it sooner or later if you're going to be in this class. I'll keep that in mind, too. And by the way, Vicken, what's up with the horse? In a second, everyone's attention immediately snaps to the fox as June finally asks the question we were all thinking but not saying. Oh, we're going there after all, huh? Okay. What is the best... What is What is the deal with the horse? Vic winces, looking away from us for a second. His cheek's becoming redder. That's, um... I kind of lost a bet. A bet? Well, not really a bet bet. More like, um... How should I put it? My elder brother made an agreement with me in exchange for his help. You see, my parents were initially opposed to me going on an exchange program, and since they're divorced, I don't get much time with my father. 
My brother, he told me that if he managed to convince my father to let me on this trip, I'd have to show up for my first day of class on horseback. That's pretty wild of him. Honestly, he does this kind of stuff all the time. Tormenting me seems to be his main hobby. That doesn't sound like a healthy hobby. Hey, messing around with your younger siblings can be fun at times. Yuichi-san, you too. Guess we should call Child Protective Services before he messes Akiyoshi up too much. I was joking! Well, I guess it could have been worse. He could have imposed a condition like you must go to school naked on your first day of class. I'd have refused to go on this trip then and there. Huh. I always thought French people didn't really care about modesty. I feel like I should punch you for that. I, I was joking! Feel free to punch him, Vicon. He totally deserves it. Trust me when I see this. He's like this all the time. I said I was joking! <laughs> Vic sighs, shaking his head. So, um, where do I even sit? Uh, do we even have an open seat in our classroom? There are a few in the back, but you'll have to be assigned one by the homeroom teacher. Since he's absent today, just take any seat you'd like and he'll deal with it tomorrow. Okay, I guess I'll take this one. It's all the same, really. Victor pulls the chair and throws his bag on top of it. So, um, I assume that it's lunchtime. Uh, given how much food I see thrown on the ta top of the tables, any chance there's a cafeteria here where I can get some food for myself? There is, but you have, but you have, if you have, blah, but if you have any love for life, don't eat there. It's not that bad. It's only a few dishes that suck. The rest is perfectly edible. You're just being too nitpicky because you're used to fancy stuff. My lunchbox is literally salad, rice, and sausages. What's fancy about that? Huh. Yeah, wow. Totally not what I was expecting. What exactly were you expecting? Gold leaves, diamonds, and pearls? Something along those lines. Yeah. You're ridiculous. Yeah, I try. Wow, you two seem to get along very well. Not at all. Not at all. Despite their protests about this sort of stuff, they end up agreeing with each other more often than not. It can be downright disturbing sometimes. Oh, I'm sorry. Ignore them. These two bickering is just another thing that you get used to in time. Oh. Don't ignore me. Hey, that's my line. Hey, stop stealing my... Both of you, stop! They immediately jump up in surprise as Sai's thunderous voice threatens to shake their very core. Jesus, stop behaving like children already. You're both, too, you're both grown men. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, is this something else I'll get used to in time? I'll tell you once you... I'll tell you once I do. You'll leave him hanging for a good while, then. Quite likely. You two are ruthless! Saya chuckles. <laughs> look who's talking! Saya waves him off, immediately turning back around to look Victor in the eye. A move that makes the fox jump. She puts both hands behind her back and curves her body forward, looking at him with a big smile on her face. Saya mentioned that she's got a guy she's seeing. I wonder if it's the fox. Hmm. The other fox. <laughs> the French fox! So, Vicon, you said you needed food, right? We can share some of ours with you, right, guys? Yeah, totally. Ugh. Oh, you would you? Yeah, totally. For sure. I wasn't even going to eat mine. Wow, that's really nice, but I, I can't accept that. <clears throat> yeah, guys, you can't eat the peasant's food. Hmm? Why not? If we give you a little bit of our four lunch boxes, we'll barely notice the difference for ourselves. But you'll still have a good deal of food to eat. Well... She gives his back a few light taps that are, mo that are more like slaps, giggling. It's okay, isn't it? This is the perfect opportunity to get to know your new classmates. Not that I'm really your classmate, but that doesn't matter. It's alright, Vicon. I've only transferred to this school at the start of the school year, but they're all, they've all made me feel very welcome. That's nice to know. I suppose a meal could hurt. How much do I have to pay you guys? <laughs> you cracked me up! As if we'd let you pay for that. But... It's fine, Vicon. Come on. Let's introduce you to the rest of the class, one by one, preferably. Come on, Michimaya. Put some more spring in your step. Yes! God, this is exhausting. Coach, you do know there's no point to him working out hard if he falls dead from exhaustion, right? Nonsense. This is just a light workout. Not to mention the fact that he has two years of slacking off to make up for. Gah! His words have so many barbs on them. I'm honestly amazed. Coach, what happened to that laissez-faire personality you had for the past two years? No, no, he's been doing a series of high-intensity workouts for two hours already without breaks. He literally looks like he's about to fall dead. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? Hey, Yuichi, are you really that much of a wimp that you're exhausted from just this? Y yes, sir! Sai smiles cockily. Meanwhile, Coach's expression contorts into a look of frustration. I really thought he'd go the other way around. Come on, yuichi Gun. Let's go get you some water and rest before he changes his mind. Sai walks up to me, slowly guiding me to some of the benches we have close to the entrance. 
You look like a newborn fawn right now. Your legs won't stop shaking. Try doing all the crap he's putting me through. Ah, crap. I think I might throw up. You throw up on me, and I can assure you it won't be it won't be the workout that kills you. So mean! As soon as we reach the benches, I immediately topple over them. Huh. I don't think I can ever get up from here. Did I look back a little okay? It might be He might be overworking you, but he's got a point. You've been slacking for the past two years. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten that stupid speech you and Shuichi gave me a while ago. It wasn't so much a speech as it was a reality check. Still, I know that I've been running all, away all this time. I don't need you to keep preaching to me. It doesn't sound like you do. Don't worry. I'm not going to go back on my word. I made cake and I made cake, cake and my practice partner for a reason. He's so diligent that, that it's liable to bring you to tears. I see. And what about the new training menu coach gave you? That working out okay? It's hell, but I do see the point. There are a few things that I should improve in my game. My last match with Kaken made that abundantly obvious. Well, see you later then. I still have to get back to my practice. What? Didn't you say you were going to get me some, some water? I was. Then you said you were never getting up from that bench again. Now I kind of want, to, kind of want you to get it yourself. You're awful! Sure am. See ya. See ya. She quickly walks away, leaving me alone at the bench. Waterless and exhausted. Oh, great. Might as well get it myself. I try standing up, but my legs immediately go nope and buckle under my weight. I immediately fall ass first on the bench again. But Hey, hey, I know I said it was a joke, but I don't want to be stuck on this bench for the rest of my life. Who are you talking to? I look to the side and see June standing there by the entrance, with Vicka next to him. Oh, oh, um, uh, no one. Uh, no one at all. Did I just get caught talking to myself? Great, that doesn't make me sound crazy at all. Actually, why was I even talking to myself? What's wrong with me? Oof. No, don't go there. What's up, June? What brings you to this part of... Ah, screw it, I'm too tired to make a clever joke out of that. God, I am so sore, guys. Oh, God, pray for me or give me some well wishes, please. Oh, God. It's not COVID, my COVID test was negative. Oh, Lord, I gotta lay on my side. Okay. Oh, God, okay, okay. I get the feeling it wouldn't be clever... It wouldn't even be a clever joke, even if you weren't. Since when did you become so sassy? Never mind that. I was showing... Ch Jeff cut around school, and I mentioned Mizuguchi san and Urushi Hara san were in the tennis club, so I wanted to come take a look. I, I hope that's okay. It is. Don't worry about it. So, Chef Kun, wasn't it? Vikun this just this morning? Anyway, Chef Kun, uh, what got you interested in coming over? Well, I used to play badminton back in France, and I thought, hey, badminton and tennis are kind of similar, right? And I decided that I'd come take a look. Sure, they're similar in about the same way that American football is similar to rugby. Well, this school doesn't have a badminton club, so it's fine. I'll show you around, but, well, I try getting up one more time, and just like that, my legs immediately buckle under my weight, forcing me down on the seat again. As you can see, I can barely stand. Wow, you seem to be really fit, too. Is practice that tough in this club? Nah, this is this is specific just to me. Yuichi-san is the number two player in Japan, so he gets a, gets a different training menu for him. To be fair, our club only has one coach, so he can't possibly create and supervise individual training menus for each and every player. He gives a little extra attention to the ones who draw sponsors for our club, and the others get to choose between a few pre-made training menus. Hmm, that sounds interesting. I wonder if I could play tennis. If you want, you can give it a try. I can lend you a racket and everything. Really, that'd be great. Although, my rackets are custom-made for me, taking into consideration my body build and style of play. So maybe it wouldn't be such a great idea. June, can you fetch cake in for me? You're gonna ask to borrow one of his spare rackets? At first, I thought of, at first I thought of asking Saya since Vikun's build is more in line with hers. Then I remember that she also has rackets being custom made for her. Wouldn't Rishi Hara just hire a company to make custom rackets for him too? Could if he wanted to, but he said he doesn't want to use his financial status as an advantage. That's surprisingly humble of him. He's an odd guy like that. Anyway, if you will. Sure, I'll be right back. By the way, Vikun. Wait, is it going to be Vikun or Shevkun? Either one is fine. Anyway, what made you leave France for Japan? Thinking of moving here long term? He fidgets in place at my sudden inquiry, looking unsure. Hey, I've always been interested in your culture, so I decided to spend some time abroad here. You know, get some fresh air and maybe learn a new thing or two. That's an interesting sentiment. I myself don't really know much about the French. Is it true that you guys eat snails? Gah! I can see him physically cringing inwardly at my, at my question. Is it true that you guys enjoy fornicating with tentacled monsters? Uh... Exactly. Can we please drop the cultural stereotypes? Sorry, sorry, you don't have to get so upset about it. Ah. As if he only realized it now, Vic looks at me with shock. Oh, so sorry, it wasn't my intention to be rude. 
desperately bows, uttering a dozen apologies. It's fine. I asked a rude question. No, I shouldn't have snapped at you. Jeez, lighten up a little. What's going on? Why is Shivkan bowing? What? It's nothing. Cutie. He's cute. He immediately jumps up, standing as straight as he can, fidgeting on the spot. Anyway, here you go, Rishi Har Rishi Harrison just asked that you be careful with it. Oh, thanks. Victor takes hold of the racket, very carefully swinging it around to get a feel for it. It's heavy. It feels a bit weird. Well, you're used to playing with a badminton racket, so I'm not really surprised. If you want to give it a try, ask Coach. The application period has already passed, but since being a part of a club is mandatory, I'm sure they'll open an exception for you. Um, where's the coach? He's the tall crocodile that's walking around the court somewhere. Not sure where exactly. Uh, go look around for him a bit. Oh, okay, um, see ya. See ya. Yeah, don't worry so much. You'll be fine. Victor nods and runs off looking for Coach Mikado. I forget I forget to t oh, I forget to tell him forgot to tell him coach's name. Would really matter? No one calls him by name anyway, from what I've seen. Huh, I guess you're right. By the way, how are you feeling? Are you really are you really so tired you can't be that you can't stand? Yeah, I'm sore everywhere. God fucking tell me about it. Good lord. Ugh. That's kinda cold or something. It's frustrating. I'm pretty sure I'm I'm pretty sure I'm done for the day. I'm sorry to hear. Oh, I can give you a massage if you want. A, a massage? Do you even know how to do one properly? Sure. Dad always came home from work exhausted. Mom used to work extra shifts back then. So I learned to give him massages to try and help him out a little. Aw, oh, that's very sweet of you. You're probably a model son. <laughs> you praise me too much. If you want, we can go to the locker room and I can give you a massage there. I'd love to, but... I try standing up once more for effect. The same thing as the last two times happens, except this time I fall forward. Wow! June reacts fast, grabbing me before I can hit the floor. Immediately, I can feel his knees quaking under my weight. Huh? You wish you said you're heavy! S sorry, let me adjust myself. I try sitting back down, but June pulls me towards him once more. What? It's fine, just try to make- try to take some- some of your weight. Just let me try to take some of your weight. I'll help you walk to the lockers. Oh, alright. June plops me down on one of the locker room benches, and I immediately rest my hand on the back of the- on one of the lockers. Thanks for that. I'm sorry for taking- for making you do this. No worries, I'm glad to help. Now, about that massage. He stops talking abruptly, looking away. What? Well, usually when you give someone a massage, you want to touch the skin instead of clothes. My dad used to strip down to his boxers when I gave him massages. Uh oh. But well, never mind, forget I said that. This, this is fine. No, no, you're right. Um, I don't really feel comfortable taking off my shorts, though. I is just my shirt fine? Y yes. I quickly remove my shirt, exposing my sweaty torso to June. The fur completely matted and pressed down by the sweat. He looks away for a second before glancing tentatively at me again, his face a little red. Okay, but would you rather I do your front or your back first? Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Ah, oh, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you super thanks for a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye